Hello, everyone. So .NET Core minimal mock APIs with chaos injection. So it's a big name for a very simple uh, thing. Um, so I'm working for Itacho, at Itachi Vantara in Portugal. My name is Rui Braga. I'm presenting uh, this, but it was actually made uh, by a member of my team, a guy called Javier Gutierrez is not, is not here, uh, nor is Marco and Paulo and all the other team members. And this is actually uh, something I spoke with them that I will be presenting uh, their work in a, in a conference. So I'm actually doing that now. Uh, it's really good to be here again. I was here in 2019 volunteering for um, the conference, then the pandemic hit and back again. It's really good to see that uh, the excitement is still here. Uh, a lot of people, um, everyone is really friendly. So I would like to thank you all uh, for, again, for a great experience that I'm having here. I, I would like to uh, also thank my colleagues and uh, Aneki and the organization of this wonderful uh, conference. I hope you have a, such a nice time as I'm having here. So what is this talk uh, about? So we were working with a retail company in the UK. We had a distributed system. It was developed in .NET, so C Sharp. Everything was in uh, the Azure cloud, the infrastructure, so basically a Microsoft stack. And we had to test uh, some new developments. Uh, the team was new in that project, so the pandemic hit, the, the team was disassembled and we came and had to learn everything. And one of the things that we found out is there were no test environments that were reliable. So all the integrations that we had uh, had a lot of issues. So one of the APIs, the one that allows us to send uh, the emails uh, had a rate gate limit. And believe it or not, that rate gate limit was shared with production. So it would mean if I do a test in dev and I hit that rate limit, I would bring production down. Uh, we had other other issues. Uh, we had to test latency. Uh, we didn't have a way to do that. Um, and also, not all the uh, environment had um, uh, APIs to test with. So uh, the integration with the customer engagement, we needed the barcodes. Uh, it was not there for dev. So we had to come up with a way to mock the APIs of third party easily and in a way that we could do performance testing and load testing. And that's exactly this journey that I will try to summarize. I only have six minutes more uh, in, in the way that we solved all of these problems. So the use case I already spoke about, the importance of mock APIs, the not that .NET Core minimal API implementation, Azure API management that allows us to solve the rate gate problem, and the spicy stuff, the CIMI, the cows and fault injection tool. So the use case, uh, external API services, there were three. Uh, Salesforce was always going down. That's another problem that we had in our environments. It was a distributed system. Sometimes we didn't know if the problem, problem was ours or the third party API. Uh, the mock API uh, solved that problem for us as well. Uh, to simulate the marketing uh, email campaigns with dynamic mock responses, that was another problem. Usually the mock APIs only have a static response. So we needed to generate responses. That's why we went for 
the minimal uh, APIs using .NET that will allow us to develop and return dynamic response. <laughs> uh, also, the rate gate problem. The rate gate problem uh, was solved using the API management, so at the level of the API gateway. Uh, those two uh, points hit the Azure Well Architected Framework, so two of the pillars were being addressed by this strategy. So we needed it to be fast but reliable. We needed to control the throttling, so the rate gate, and we needed to uh, make a performance test, uh, be able to simulate external APIs failures and the latency of those APIs. Because if we had a load test, it would be too quick because the mock API will respond more quickly than the real API. So another importance of the minimal API, it allows us to develop APIs really fast. So with three lines of code, you have an endpoint ready. You just need to configure something. So if you need to do a POC, it's actually a really good use case for the minimal APIs. So all the other uh, points I think I already mentioned, I only have three minutes. So why minimal APIs? So there is this cartoon, I don't know if you guys saw it. This was one of the reasons. If you haven't checked uh, minimal APIs, please do. It's actually a good idea, for, at least for some use cases, of course. So this is those three lines of code. It's basically what you need to make your API uh, work in .NET Core using minimal APIs. It's uh, as simple as that. <coughs> so the, the other thing I mentioned was that rate gate limit. So the API for the emails only responded to 400 requests each minute, I think that was the limit. So what we did, <coughs> we set up this limit, this rate gate limit in the API gateway for the mock API. So if we hit that limit when we were calling in our test, it will basically send the same response as in production. So this way we can test that use case. Now, the CIMI chaos and fault injection tool. So another thing that was asked to our team, to one of the other pillars of the Azure Architecture Framework, was to simulate faults in the system. Uh, CIMI is a framework, it's a NuGet that you can install easily in your project. It's actually part of the poly.net, which is a very known uh, library to to put in your APIs if you're doing some requests and implement the retry, the circuit breaker patterns. But it also has the monkey policy uh, configuration available. So you can easily uh, use and put uh, some policies that will simulate the chaos in your system. So they will fail and you don't know where exactly it will fail, but it will allow you to test those scenarios. And the beauty of this is that it's also really easily to, to implement. So it's actually those lines of code and this is the app settings JSON. You just install the, the NuGet and you configure this file with the, all the <coughs> the settings that you want, uh, latency, the status code, and it will return uh, faulty responses uh, during your tests. So as a summary, I think I, I have five seconds. <laughs> it's fast but reliable. 
uh, the .NET Core uh, minimal API, it allows you to do the throttling that was the configuration on the API gateway and API management. And you can easily work and simulate faults with the, those configuration files if you add that framework, that NuGet, to your project. Or you can just use Mockroom, which is a readily available tool that will basically erase my talk anyway. Thank you very much. <laughs>